Right, uh, this is a slightly more complicated probability question. Let's start by drawing out one of these little probability trees. Apples, bananas, cherries, ABC, ABC, ABC. And now putting in some of the probabilities. I'll start with the bottom number. There are 22 fruit. This might actually help avoid any mistakes because you make sure that the bottom number is always the same at each point, which is quite useful. And then we can track what happens to the apples. I'm going to lose an apple, so that top number is there an 8. I lose a banana, it goes from 7 to 6, and I lose a cherry, 6 to 5. The other numbers stay the same. Which ones do I want from this tree? Well, I want that one, cherry, cherry, banana, banana, and apple, apple. So what I end up with is 9 over 22 times 8 over 21 plus 7 over 22 times 6 over 21 plus 6 over 22 times 5 over 21. And that gives me 0 0.312. Um, for the first part. For the second part, I, there is it is possible to um, do the same approach, but I just want to look at one different way of doing it. Um, the probability that I ate at least one apple, so I could have had one apple, two apples, or three apples, but what I wasn't allowed for that second part is no apples. So what if we just do one minus the probability of no apples? That might actually be easier. Now, these, there are 13 non-apples, okay, so what I have is for my first pick, I've got to choose a non-apple, that's 13 from 22, and for my second pick, because I've already chosen a non-apple, there's only 12 non-apples left, and that's one way to do the second part, and it should be the same as the normal way. It should give you the same answer, um, which is 0 0.662.